This man bought this house and moved in recently, but since recently, he has been hearing strange sounds from the backyard of his house, but when he went to check, there was nothing. When this happens so often, one day he starts digging in the empty space in the backyard, and when the sound starts to sound more frightening, he continues to dig in more boldly. While digging, he suddenly sees something unexpected. Hello, my dear viewers, today I bring you the movie Digging to Death, which was released in 2021. If you like the movie, don't forget to like the video. The movie starts with David buying a new house and Jessica and his daughter are renovating their new house. These father and son are very tired because they have been fixing their house, but in the evening, they suddenly see another closed door in the big cupboard and they are very surprised by what they see. David tried to open the door but he couldn't open it because it was locked. At this time, when they were about to leave the closet, they suddenly found $100 by the door. They didn't pay much attention to it because they thought it might be the money that someone who lived here had dropped. They used that money to buy dinner. After dinner, while heading home, the daughter makes a call to her boyfriend. She worries about her dad because he always wants to have people over. She believes her dad is not feeling good since his divorce. The next day, David wakes up to the sound of a car horn from the landscaper. David goes outside and tells him that he wasn't allowed to be on the land until the afternoon. The landscaper doesn't say sorry for coming by unexpectedly. He just wants to carefully see what work needs to be done in the yard. He begins to write down what David wants, but he casually disagrees when David says he will put in his own septic tank. The landscaper can't change David's mind, so he tells David that he will return in a week with everything needed to shape and plan his yard. After that, the gardener leaves, and David gets a call from his best friend. Soon after, David and his friend are sitting by the pool. David tells his friend that he wants to put in his own septic tank. The friend doesn't think it's a good idea because it's a job for a professional, but David really wants to try it. Soon after his friend goes away, David begins to dig a hole to put in his own septic tank. After digging for less than a minute, the shovel hits something hard. When David digs up the dirt, he discovers a huge box. He lifts the lid and quickly puts it back down after seeing an old man's dead body and a pile of money. David opens the lid again to make sure, takes out a pile of money. David puts the box back in the ground and covers it with dirt before going back to the house. He hides the bundle of money in the bathroom cabinet. Next day, David wakes up because he hears quiet footsteps coming closer. He gets out of bed and looks around, but there's nobody and nothing there, so he's all by himself. The next day, David goes back to the box and brings all the bundles of cash inside his house. He counts all of them and piles them up, totaling over $4 million. After that, he puts the money in the closet and locks the door. In the bathroom, David stands in front of the mirror and talks to himself, debating if he should tell someone about what he discovered. David is worried that if he tells the police about the dead body, they might believe he caused it. But then he remembers he has never done anything bad and doesn't know the dead person, so he can still report it. Next day, David gets up after hearing some sounds from downstairs. He grabs a baseball bat and sits down where the noise is coming from. Suddenly, he sees a dead body outside, looking directly at him, and he gets really scared. David quickly goes outside with his baseball bat and looks around his yard. David lifts the lid to check that the man is really dead. In the morning, at work, the boss tells David that his team has to finish their update two days earlier than planned. The next day, David takes the dead person's wallet and keys. He hopes to find out who the person is and maybe use the keys to open the locked door in the closet. Then, he takes a pile of money from the box and heads to the hardware store to buy items for his safety. Later, David puts cameras inside and outside his house and adds some lights in his yard. There are cameras in his room, and everything outside turns on with just one click of a remote. This way, he will find out who or what is making the noises at night. Then, David uses the keys he took from the dead body to unlock a door in a closet, which leads to the basement of the house. There, David sees many dead bodies covered in plastic and duct tape. The old owner of the house must have hidden the bodies. He quickly leaves the basement smelling like dead bodies. He calls the police, but the million dollars is stopping him from doing it. David still wants to keep the money for himself, even after finding the scary basement. Later that night, David wakes up to the loud sound of his security alarm because the dead body has come back to life again. He quickly turns on the outside lights and sits by the security monitor, waiting for the body to show up again. But the electricity stops working 
as the thunder begins to growl outside. David starts swearing, but luckily, the power comes back soon. As the video comes back on, he nearly falls out of his chair when he sees a dead body outside his room. The dead body sees the camera soon after and slowly turns to look at it, as if he knows David is watching him. After that, the body quickly moves downstairs. David grabs his baseball bat and goes outside after the body, but then he steps on a sharp piece of a broken pot with his bare foot. He takes out the piece and feels the pain as the rain falls heavily on him. He walks to his yard, limping and keeps saying that he will kill the dead body, even though he can't because it's already dead. When David gets to the box, he yells and curses at the dead body. David tells him to open his eyes because he believes the dead person is alive, but the dead person doesn't move. The next day, as David drives away, he sees a dead body standing nearby, looking at him. Instead of panicking, he quickly gets out of his car. When the corpse sees this, it turns around and walks back to its grave, not listening to David's orders to stop. David can't catch up to him because of his hurt foot from last night. He can only watch as the dead body looks at him, almost like it's making fun of him before being put in the box. This is too much for David. He just saw the dead body moving with his own eyes, so he grabs a chainsaw and plans to use it on the body. David is yelling loudly while he does this, ignoring the blood that is flying everywhere. After this, he still goes to work smelling bad, with blood on his neck and looking worse than before. The boss comes in and shouts at David about the game update, but David doesn't give up and yells loudly at the boss, saying he has everything handled. However, the boss tells David that he has given the coding task to someone else, which makes David angry. David shouted at his boss, so the boss fired him and told security to take him out of the building. On his way home, David stops at a trash dump and throws away his work clothes. While he is driving, he acts a bit strange. He talks to himself, laughs for no reason, and seems happy about being unemployed. When he gets to his driveway, he spots the landscaper's car. David quickly jumps out of his car and tries to keep him away from the box, but the gardener doesn't listen to him and calls the police. David picks up the hammer and motions it towards his face. He suddenly realizes that he has just killed someone for the first time. He thinks fast and takes the landscaper's body to the basement, where other other unknown bodies are already stored. After that, David puts the body from the box into the basement. Later that night, David wakes up to the sound of the siren going off again. He looks at the security camera and sees a dead body standing in his kitchen. David picks up his baseball bat and goes downstairs, where he hits his friend. David is seeing things that aren't real and thinks his friend is a dead body, so he doesn't realize he's hurting the wrong person. Even though his friend tried hard to bring David back to reality, David believes his friend wants the money too, so he kills him with a drill. After the terrible scene, David brings his friend dead body to the basement. The next day, David wakes up because someone is knocking on his door. He looks and sees that it's his daughter's boyfriend who has been knocking. He opens the door, and the boyfriend begins to say who he is. Suddenly, David hits him with the baseball bat. He does this a few more times before covering the aware boyfriend in plastic and duct tape. He takes him to the basement and says that the boyfriend is only there for his money too. Soon after, the daughter arrives at her dad's house. She quickly sees that her dad looks stressed and tired, but he tells her that he is fine. She begins to search for her boyfriend, and David informs her that he is in the basement. He takes his daughter to the basement and hits her on the head with his baseball bat, making her lose consciousness. The daughter wakes up a little while later, with her hands chained to a tube. David shows up a moment later and tells her that he knows she's there to get his money, too. She starts crying and asks her dad to let her and her boyfriend go. She tries to get her dad to stop acting weird and reminds him that she is his daughter. This looks like it's helping because David is beginning to come around a bit. David starts saying that he can fix everything and leaves his daughter alone with her dying boyfriend and many dead bodies in the basement. He puts on a fancy suit and talks to himself to feel better before going outside to the yard with a bag of money. David puts the money in the box and pours gas on it, but he struggles to set the million dollars on fire. As the heavy rain falls, David decides to bury himself in the money. He feels he has to do this before his greed drives him crazy. The movie finishes with David lying next to the bag of money, covering himself with dirt, while his daughter is stuck in the basement for who knows how long. This means that David is going to be the next person buried in the box, and he doesn't know the secrets of the house or where the money is. The movie ends here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.